Hi Gemini, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It's always a blessing to have you back here. Today's reading is all about you. You know you're a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. Also Gemini, please make a friendly note that if this reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get hurt, offended, or in your feelings. It only simply means here today that the reading is not for you. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe for me and turn on the post notification. That way you will always be the first one to be notified each and every single time that I do upload a brand new video. Also, my darlings, please give the videos a thumbs up because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will go, the video will also go. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love, y'all, and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Please make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled, the card has been blessed. But before I get into the reading of prayers, I must we do pray here on the channel. So I'm going to get into a quick pray. Um, jump into your reading and see what angels have for you. Let's pray, y'all. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So this is a general reading, okay? It will not, again, resonate to every single one of you. Take what resonates to your situation at present and leave the rest. If you have to put one and two together, it's not for you, okay? Just come back another day because I do upload very often here, Gemini. Very often. Um, it could pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future person. Even for the situation that is surrounding your circle, it could pick that up as well. Um, for the cross watchers, this one could be for you as well. And if you do need to have a personal reading, you guys can connect with me using the information that is in the description part of this video. You'll see how to connect with me to have a personal reading done. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get into your reading. See what's coming through. All right, Angel says get to work, please. What is the message for Gemini, please? Okay, tell me more. Okay, let's see here. Tell me more. Oh. I didn't waste any time to come through. All right. So what I'm getting here, um, Gemini, is a strategy, okay? The strategy, your life is basically calling for you to be smarter, making smarter decisions for yourself here. I feel like some of you may be doing some things um, the old-fashioned way. Things is just not working any way, that way anymore. I don't feel like there's a circle of, of things that's going on where they're kind of used to the way that you go about things. You have to find a new way to go about things because they already studied your old way, okay? So it's calling for you to come up with a massive plan here. I'll call it a master plan. Now, once you do that, okay, find a new way to think your situation out on a different level. I'm getting blossoming of abundance here. See this strategy here? You have to switch things around. If you used to walk that same street for 10 years, you're going to take a different path now. An abundance is coming through once you make some changes for yourself, okay? Now, this abundance is giving me the temple path. This temple path is where you're going to find a light, a bright light, a new chapter, a new beginning. This temple path that is coming through here, Gemini, is critically needed here, okay? This path has to happen. It's like it's a part of your destiny. Now, once you get to that path and you find a clear view of what it is that you're searching for, there's a door that will be there. This is a door to personal healing and happiness. Okay? Is what you will find. The door to personal healing and happiness will find you. Um, for some of you who have not been happy in for so long, Okay, um, trying to find a path, trying to find a way. Money's not going right. Relationship is going left. 
friendships are going left, family ships are going left, uh, situations with people close to you, jobs, situations, everything seems to have fallen apart here. And that's only because you have to come up with a strategy here, strategy. Uh, it's a massive change here. The thinking woman. It's time that you stop thinking, thinking, and thinking, and thinking, and start taking action here. Action is needed here, right? The door to romance. That's going to change too. The door to romance. That is going to change. A woman holding a coin. Look at that. Okay? This woman that is holding a coin. This is your future. This is your destiny. This is your gain. This is your goal. This is your circumstances. All right? Once you take that chance, that leap, that new chapter, for some of you live in one place for 20 damn years, all your life. You were born in that little town and you stay in that little town until your hair start falling off. Try something different. New chapter. Meet new friends. You know what I mean? Change is a good damn thing. Healer of the ages. It's going to be there regardless with you, right? Now, what I do see is that you have to tap into your inner strength here. <clears throat> is what I'm feeling. This yin yang here, the, the cycle to make those changes is now. See, you're going through that little cycle now. I do need to share this with you that there's definitely a change that is needed here. Your financial situation is needed to change. It's not going according. You should have been a millionaire because you're very smart, Gemini. Very smart. You definitely have to walk away from some things here because. If you choose to remain in the situation that you are presently in, that is having you having a fear of change, you're going to have anxiety, okay? You have to walk away. I see you walking away. I see that is what is needed here. Rest and rejuvenate after you have done that. This is tapping into your energy, your strength, your physical form, your mental form, a place of peace here. If you have to separate yourself from what is it that is distracting you, that's what you have to do because at the end of the day, I see a broken heart coming towards you. Now, for some of you, this broken heart has already come full force here. Um, for some of you, it's hard to heal this broken heart because your heart seems to be has ripped in two. All right? But what I am getting also is a happy family, the family structure here. Maybe that's what has caused this broken heart. Okay? Um... Because maybe you have been just going about things the wrong way for too long. Now it's time for change for some of you. But you have an affair of change here. The magician. Yeah, you can change things. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, this is where I want to be in the next five damn years. I do see a man holding a coin here. So someone is wanting to fight for this relationship. Um, this person looks like you're ready for something new. The fourth chakra. Yeah, this person is ready. Um... Coming in with which you would to manifest, but I do see someone being in this size in decision here. Someone is having a hard time making a decision here. Okay. Um, someone is choosing to be blinded here by a contract of some damn sort. I do feel like patience is ran out. And I feel like this patient is just not ran out for one person, but it's ran out for everyone. This is your blessing, okay? This is your money. This is the, this new start. This is the fresh everything. The door to spirit. All right, this needs to happen, but someone has to find a way to detach themselves because an attachment has happened here. It needs action, okay? Because I do see community coming together to help you to make this journey that you're going to be on. A second chance for some of you, yeah, here in connection, second chance here. But there's some adjustment coming through here that is needed here for spiritual growth. Just know that the storm that you have withered. Um, you'll be okay from it, even though it looks like things are never going to change. It will because I see a woman holding her heart here. Doesn't want to be hurt. Doesn't want to be um, in a position of feeling left out, left behind here. The door to value is what I'm seeing coming in because you have been deceived here, deceited. Um, what I'm going to do here, y'all, is go ahead and pull some messages um, to clarify these cards that came through using the tarot deck. All right. Um, because I do feel clarification is really needed here. So that's what I'll do. Um, so angels, let's get to work, please. Let me have some clarification on these cards that came through for Gemini. 
Yes, angels. What is the present energy here? Please, what is the message? What is the message? What is the energy? What is the message? Tell me more, please. Tell me more, angels. Please tell me more. Tell me more, angels. Please tell me more. What is the present energy? Please, please tell me more, angels. Please tell me more. What is the message? What is the energy? What is the present energy? What is the message here, please? What is the message? What is the energy? What is the message? Okay, so what you did not see in the back of the deck is the seven of wands in the reverse, y'all, okay? So now I'm feeling like someone is definitely over this. They are over it. You don't want to argue anymore. You don't want to fuss and fight anymore. You just want to have peace. You don't want to have to struggle for position. You don't want to have to struggle for your position. You just want to move forward and be free from stress, okay? Even if it's going to cause for you to be alone because you're done fighting this battle here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is here. The Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Um, I am getting the Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Swords um, also being here. Now, for your present form, what I have here is the, the Lover's Card in the reverse. And the Lover's Card pulled in the Seven of Swords also, okay? Now, what I'm feeling here for this Queen of Pentacles, you're definitely on a vision here. You're on a vision. You're getting ready to manifest greatness towards yourself here. Um, you also want to put the plan in place here. You also want to have a vision here of bringing balance and stability to your life and to your goals and to your dreams here. However, you're not on a mission of being destructive or having people coming towards you with destructive behavior. I see you taking charge here with this Queen of Cups and bringing what is and pulling energy that you need to be pulled in and setting things in stone here because that's you have the power to do that. Now, because you have the power and you have definitely set everything that you need in stone here to manifest what it is that you really true as far as your finances is concerned, as far as your money is concerned, um, building power on your money because there's definitely different stages of power and money here. You're setting things into stone and you also bring power towards your uh, financial situation, okay? And bringing growth and, and having those growth manifest into power and greatness. This is what I see coming through with this Queen of Cups. Now, this Ace of Cups is definitely validating this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups, which is you, 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 and only you, okay? Um, it's like the, the role that you're on right now, whoever will follow, follow, because right now you don't really care because you're done fighting battles with people. You don't want to fight any uh, in harm anymore. You want to be your own harm. You want to be your own hero. This is where the Ace of Cups comes in, okay? This is your new beginning, your new chapter, because you're not going to walk in doubt and fear anymore. You want to be able to... to bring everything that is needed for your life for your movement here and want to be focused and want to make sure that whatever is manifesting coming in towards you is on a positive level here you're not going to walk around being beat up and burnt out anymore you're done doing all of that you just want to move on to bigger and better things here's what i'm seeing because you definitely have your fair share of losers making bad decisions making bad choices having people in the circle pulling you into bad decisions and pulling you into bad choices as well. And it has definitely been a setback for you. You're going to remove that blindfold. You're going to make sure that you're seeing everything nice and clearly here. You're going to ask your 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 uh, spiritual guide to guide you into making your decisions right from this point moving forward. Once you do that, Gemini, the Ace of Swords is going to pull the energy through with the Ace of Cups which is combining both energies together and making sure that you are in fact given what is truly yours here. 
Now, what I see coming is obstacles being removed here. Because this with this lover's card being here, there was definitely a setback. As far as your relationship is concerned, there was definitely a setback where there was might have been a third party manipulation coming through. That third party situation felt more like a karmic one, okay? Very toxic. That has been removed from your life. Or is trying to remove itself from you and has to remove itself from you because this seven of this seven of uh swords as here, this person definitely manipulated the situation. There's definitely a lot of manipulation that is coming through here. Okay. I do see this person might have been taken something from you. This person is coming with some kind of an ego here. All right. This person doesn't really want what you want at this present moment. It's not, it's not on the same exact level, even though there's um some there's love there. But there's a love that is there is not enough to manifest power. The power that is surrounding your energy right now. Um, I do feel some, some critical distraction here. And this distraction is calling for action. Okay. Action is needed. Let me have some more messages here, please. Clarify this lover's card in the reverse. And this seven of swords also being here, please, angels. And thank you. All right. What's the message? What's the energy for Gemini, please? What is the energy for Gemini, please? Tell me more, angels. Please tell me more. Okay. Okay. All right, so the energy has definitely been blocked here, okay? It's been blocked. But this person is definitely coming to it in a, with um some kind of a line of an apology here. It's not sincere. I uh, do see them juggling two things here. As far as the lover's card is concerned, the apology is coming. But the apology won't be sincere as so you thought. I do see you're not, you don't want to wait for this apology anymore because this apology is kind of, it's, it is fake, okay? Um, but I do feel like that apology is needed here. This person is definitely juggling uh, a lot of things going on right now. Um, let me have more here, please. Yeah, you've definitely thought things through here for sure. And your financial situation has definitely slowed down because of what you had to deal with here. But I do see you taking charge here because this person's energy right now is a little off here, off and off here, taking control and building stability. I do see this person or there's a dip, dip people around you, the envious, evil ass people around you that is watching you. Just to make sure that things stay where things are, they want things to stay here. But you're going to be happy because I see happiness <clears throat> coming towards you to manifest with you this ace of this page of pentacles here. Yeah. And the emperor. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love. This love, but there's definitely war. People does not want to see you happy here as far as love is concerned. But you are going to um, be okay because the temperance is here. Now, the temperance is here to make sure that they protect your, protect your energy and make sure that you're safe from harm here. And your destructive conflicts and arguments has to end and they are going to put an end to it because where you're weak, they're strong. And they will definitely make your decisions for you much clearer here. Just leave it in the hands of the angels here and they will manifest and they will fight on your behalf is what I'm seeing here, okay? There was definitely a lot of mistakes that was made here. Um, I do see this person coming back in for a second chance, okay? But I do see the second chance coming in rather slowly. And I do see you walking away, making a choice and find walking away to happiness, okay? That is your reading for today. I hope it did resonate with you. Please don't forget to pray because prayer does work. Most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.